All right, welcome back. We finally made it. It is the last video for Exodus. Tomorrow we get into the Leviticus. Or I shouldn't say tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to be taking off the weekend. Hopefully Monday or possibly Tuesday we'll be getting into Leviticus. But to kick off today's video, I saw uh, an interesting reel, I think, earlier today, yesterday for you guys. And it was a guy saying that... Um, he had been asked, how much does he trust God? And he said, I, you know, trust God a lot. And then the next question was, how would you compare that to how much you worry? And he instantly responded, oh, I worry about 10 times as much. So I know that that shouts, you know, to not be worried as much. You should trust God more. But the thing that kind of interested me was he then continued to say, that for all the times that he is not trusting God and he is worrying, instead of worshiping God, he's worshiping the devil. And that just kind of struck me as odd. So I thought about it a little bit. Do you think that, and this isn't really, I didn't intend this to be a question. I just was going to talk about this because it interested me. But, I mean, do you think that that's true? Because to me, my, my initial reaction was, no, I don't think that every time you worry, you worship the devil. Because I think that worshiping the devil is a lot different than worrying. Is worrying something we should do? I would say no, because your, you know, your faith in God, your trust in God should overcome your worry. But I don't think it's necessarily worshiping the devil. So it was just interesting. And I'm still, you know, still going back and forth in my head. Because I think worshiping the devil, you know, when you hear that, what comes to my mind is obviously praying to the devil and worshiping him outright instead of worrying. Because worrying is kind of like a, a human reaction. I mean, is it even, is it sinning? That's, that's the question I was going to ask to myself. Again, not intending for this to be a, a, a question for the video, but I guess it's turning into multiple questions. You know, is worrying sinning? Because I think a lot of us have worry um, about certain things, but do you think that that necessarily makes it a sin? Do you think it makes it worshiping the devil? Because um, I think that worrying is more of kind of like an off-the-cuff reaction that maybe we shouldn't necessarily do, but I think worshiping the devil is something that is intentional. Um, maybe like I don't know. It's just, it was an interesting thing because to me, it's like worshiping the devil is, I guess it's the intention behind it. You're intending to go against God and, and praise the devil. Whereas worrying, I think most of us, it, we don't think of it as we're not trusting God. We're just worrying about something that's going to happen. Now, should we give those worries over to God and pray about them? Yes, of course. But I just don't know. I, I don't know if I'm convinced that it's worshiping the devil. But anyway, so that was uh, that was kind of something that piqued my theoretical mind uh, today when I came across that. So let me know what you guys think, because I'm very interested on that one. I think that one could go, I mean, that could be a very big discussion about that, that, you know, could have a whole conference on and papers and articles written about it uh, in the theological world. So let me know what you think. So, we have our last five verses of Exodus, chapter 40, verses 34 through 38, and it's the glory of the Lord. Then the cloud covered the tent of meeting, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Moses could not enter the tent of meeting, because the cloud had settled on it, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. In all the travels of the Israelites, whenever the cloud lifted from above the tabernacle, they would set out. But if the cloud did not lift, they did not set out, until the day it lifted. So the cloud of the Lord was over the tabernacle by day, and fire was in the cloud by night, in the sight of all the Israelites during all their travels. So we have the cloud and fire just as we had when he was leading them out of Egypt. And it was, the glory of the Lord was so strong that they, they literally did not leave if the cloud was not gone from the tabernacle and the tent of meeting. They, they waited until it was gone, days even, um, until it until the day it lifted, verse 37. So it just goes to show you that, you know, <laughs> uh, even a cloud made by God, you know, you think of clouds and 
Nobody would really be intimidated by a cloud. I bet you if you saw one filled with fire covering a place of meeting in a tabernacle, you'd be pretty intimidated. But also, I think that would be pretty cool to see. It's one of those things where you would be very awe-inspired, but also very afraid. And that, I think, is just a very good sum of, of what God is because he is very awesome and all-powerful, but at the same time, some of the things he can do for us is scary because if we're not following what he says, you're going to get the wrath part of it, not the mercy side and not the awe-inspiring, but the scary side of things. All right, so that'll finish up Exodus, and um, I'm going to take the weekend. My fiance is doing a pop-up for her earrings in Huntington, Pennsylvania, Mayfest. If, uh, if anybody sees any earrings that they like from her posts that we're going to have on Saturday, uh, feel free to comment and just let us know which ones you want. And I can try to bring them home with me and pass them out here in Cleveland. Um, unless you're in Pennsylvania and then just, you know, feel free to come on down and, and say hi. We'll be there all day. I think it's maybe a nine to five event or something around those hours. I'm not exactly sure. So yeah, just come on by and say hi. All right. That's it for me, and that's it for Exodus. We'll be back hopefully Monday, definitely by Tuesday, with Leviticus chapter 1. All right.